infrastructure is very political by nature. M mayors make or break their elections on infrastructure announcements, successes, or failures. Governors or, or leaders of regions, most of them have some platform around infrastructure. And when you move infrastructure out of the public domain into a private domain, at times the politics around that can get very heated. Ultimately, infrastructure is there to you know, create mobility and jobs, and, et cetera, and, uh, and serve a population. You need to have uh, a, a, an, an economic agenda that's not political. That's difficult. I don't think there's a simple answer there. Politicians and the media have to help explain that things don't happen overnight. Um, and if you are going to build a highway somewhere, uh, it will displace some people, and then try to explain why it's useful. And so to reinstill trust in people and to let um, infrastructure uh, move forward, I would say there are two things to rebuild the trust. One is have people, whether it's government or private participants, do what they say they're going to do, issue number one. Issue number two, to your point, is bring some transparency to it. There are billions of dollars of funds now that have both financial return and social return obligations. And what we're trying to do is have that, first to make that field more mature, to intermediate that field with the kind of metrics and standards they need. They will often say, we know how to do the financial due diligence, but not the social due diligence. So we're actually creating standards and rating systems. At any point in time, you really have to be a prudent manager of your balance sheet. And you see the mistake repeated too many times in too many places is that partly driven by this political monumentalism is that, okay, I want this dam done by my birthday two years down the road, okay, so I can be there ribbon cutting and then the dam can be named after me. But the lifetime balance sheet of that particular infrastructure, what does it look like? That's none of my business. That's the next generation's business. So I think the political leadership needs to really have this sense of responsibility for your successors and for people that are going to come after you uh, in order for the infrastructure to be resilient and to be sustainable. That's very important.